eventually I moved away from my primary business model being expecting parents to pay and that being where I was going to make my business successful because I mean as a parent and we're talking during the week right lots of kids are at school so there was a lot of homeschool families but you can't say please come in for an hour with your four kids and it's going to cost you 120 bucks that's just not reasonable so then I started going into schools and again I got to a point where schools that was cap two. Schools have a certain amount of budget that they can spend on incursions, on people coming in and running stuff. And that, again, it wasn't going to be a sustainable model. So that's where I moved into this new space, which is what I do mostly. Now, mostly I connect with corporates and entities that, you know, engineering firms and groups that have science in their everyday functioning that want to tap into education. So they come to me and they say, hey, can you help us get into school so that we, we can be involved in education somehow? You know, they're corporates. they got no idea what they're doing in education. So I bridge that gap. I create the program. I deliver it on their behalf and it's free for the school. So the schools are signing up. They're not paying. The corporates are paying the bills. It's this cross between education, especially public schools, um, mm. there is no funding. There is very little resource support. There is very little training. There is very little. Um, the teachers are at capacity, man. The teachers, mm. they, they don't have time. They don't have money. They don't have support. And this is kind of bridges that gap. So this is the niche that I'm in now. So you really bridged the passion bit yeah. and the people who need it, but went where the money is, which is incorporate. Yeah. Very brilliant. How did you devise that? Was it was actually one of the parents that used to bring their kids to the science classes worked in an engineering group and they wanted to create an education program, a school's engagement program. So he came to me and he said, hey, this is what we want to do. We don't know where to, we don't know how to do it. We don't know where to start. And we don't have the connection with the schools. You have that connection. Can you help us? And that was the first program I made. And that's been going for five or six years. Now by word of mouth, I'm doing about six or seven of them. Yeah, right. And going back to the five-year plan, right? That's not something that you could have done if you wouldn't have gone in. 100%. So sometimes you just have to go into the path and see what comes in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that would be a good yep. advice for anyone. Welcome to Multiple Hats, a show about STEM professionals who have gone off script and carved their own path beyond the tracks that were set for them. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics, medicine, how they found their why and what it takes to make it happen. 